hello dear students hope you all are having a good time now today let us discuss about micro machining and nano machining in this presentation we shall deal with the concepts of micro or nano machining the need for micro or nano machining its classification though we have different types of micro and nano machining we will be focusing more on the following types we have uh, diamond turn machining or dtm abrasive flow finishing or afm magnetic abrasive finishing or maf magneto rheological abrasive flow finishing or maff magnetic float polishing or mfp elastic emission machining eem let us understand what is nano or micro machine or it can also be called finishing as it is at micro or nano scale finishing is usually the last operation in the manufacturing sequence of a part it is an important operation to achieve certain surface properties on the part to fulfill its functional performance requirements this operation is quite expensive and time consuming in recent years extensive technology developments have been taking place in the field of nano finishing traditional finishing process or you know tfps as it is known have many constraints with reference to the size and shape of the parts that can be finished the surface integrity of the finished parts and the level to which the surface finish can be achieved to overcome some of these constraints of the tfps or the traditional finishing process advanced finishing process or afp as it is known have been developed to the extent that they can be used on the shop floor of medium and large scale industries there is a specific need for such process especially in case of free form surfaces which needs flexible finishing tool to achieve nanometer level surface finish without any surface and sub surface defects now let us answer the question why nano or micro finishing process is required take our human body as an example many advanced finishing process would be required to finish some of the human implants that is kept or implanted inside our body after a major or minor surgery these implants should be manufactured without any surface and subsurface defects for instance we have dental implants which is very common and then we have hip stems shoulder joints knee joints which is knee joint which is yet again a very common implant used and then there are so many other examples like we have the bone screws and and other implants which is or which requires nano or micro finishing process some other important applications where nano micro finishing operations are required are like phone camera lenses contact lenses ic boards sensors used in mobile phones porous structure turbine planes filters for food processing so these are few applications or these requirements actually demand nano or micro finishing process now in this slide we can see how broadly nano finishing operations are classified into traditional and advanced techniques as per our syllabus we'll be more interested in some of the advanced finishing techniques alone moving on in this presentation we shall learn all about diamond turn machining diamond turn machining or diamond turning as it is known is an ultra precision machining technology for the generation of complex and functional surfaces and extremely fine microstructures with the use of geometrically defined diamond cutters the cutters can be natural diamond or synthetic diamond depending on the finishing scale of the machining and finishing requirements at present diamond turning can be readily applied on a wide range of metallic alloys polymeric materials and precious crystals diamond turning is used primarily to manufacture ultra precision parts for advanced application those that call for extremely high levels of form accuracy and surface finish such applications can be found in a number of industry sectors including aerospace defense electronics semiconductors and biomedical in the earlier days a large fraction of parts produced with diamond tool diamond turning were optical components like reflectors and lenses mostly machined directly from the stock material now let's see the different types of dtm or diamond turn machines diamond turn machines can be broadly classified based on the number of axes type of coordinate system and type of machine 
According to the number of axes, D10 can be classified to 2 axis, 3 axis and 5 axis. And according to the type of coordinate system that is used, we can classify DTM with XZ coordinate system and DTM machines with R theta coordinate system. And according to the types of machining, we can classify DTM into facing and fly cutting. Now let's see the machine tool requirement for this DTM process. The machine tool is an essential element of diamond turning. It commands the highest level of accuracy and repeatability that a mechanical system and software can deliver. In short, an ultra precision machine. The frame and structure of the ultra precision machine tools as well as the translational rotational axis are stiffened to minimize the instability from the surrounding environment. Most of the machines are mounted on granite blocks or in ground concrete blocks surrounded with vibration isolation material. Temperature should be kept constant with a maximum variation of plus or minus 1 degree Celsius. Lack of temperature control leads to uncontrollable drift in positioning resulting in errors and inaccuracies. This is especially significant in long time continuous cutting. Sharp changes in humidity and atmospheric pressure will also affect the accuracy of machining. To reduce the impact of this aspect, independent hydrostatic or aerostatic bearing slides are incorporated into linear axis to enhance the dynamic stiffness and damping properties. A low flow and low pressure hydrostatic oil bearing with closed loop servo control is preferred as it improves the stiffness of the machining axis while simultaneously reducing the external vibration. Moreover, the accuracy of the machine assembly like the straightness of linear axis and squareness of mechanical element is critical. The driving mechanism and the air bearing spindle are carefully balanced to minimize the chatter between the tool and workpiece and rotational runout. The positioning feedback system relies greatly on a laser holographic linear scale or an optical grade glass scale to provide high resolution feedback with nanometer accuracy. In short, a qualified machine tool for diamond turning should possess the following merits. First is the vibration isolation and constant Temperature control should be there. High stiffness in both axial and radial directions for all axes. High sliding accuracies and assembly accuracy. High positioning and repositioning accuracy. High feedback and programming resolution. Sufficient spindle power for high speed cutting. High server, perfor server performance. High precision tool and workpiece setup. Complete process monitoring system. Now let's look into what a diamond cutting tool will look like. As you can see in the figure, diamond turning is performed with the use of cutters made of diamonds. Diamonds either natural or synthetic are carefully grounded and polished to generate geometrically defined cutting edges at specific crystallographic orientations for material removal. The cutting performance and surface finishing produced via diamond turning rely greatly on the edge sharpness of diamond cutters. The edge sharpness quantitatively defined as a tool edge radius R is a governing factor of diamond turning process due to the edge radius effect. When the magnitude of cutting or an undeformed chip thickness approaches the size of R in the diamond turning, the cutting edge radius affects the mechanics and the mechanism of chip formation to a great extent. Here in this figure, a novel concave diamond tool made by the company Contour is shown. Now to have a better understanding, let's watch a video which shows different micro operations performed with the help of a DTM.
I hope from this presentation you really could understand what diamond turn machining is. If you have any queries, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for a patient hearing. Thank you. Have a good day.